So if you had this fan here, this is the Hampton Bay Zigbee ceiling fan from the Home Depot. I had a previous video on how to get this set up in SmartThings. It's originally um, compatible with Wink. There are some custom device handlers that are specifically made for SmartThings to make this work. Now, unfortunately, with the new Alexa integration in SmartThings and the new SmartThings app, those old custom device handlers no longer work for this fan. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three simple steps to get started. Now what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're going to be making this fan here compatible with the new app. What the problem is, is when we did the new Alexa integration, not only does it break all of your Alexa routines because basically all of your SmartThings devices are added as new devices, it also only allows Alexa to control exactly what is seen in the new SmartThings app. So whatever is showing in your old SmartThings app doesn't make a difference because Alexa will not be seeing anything that is not shown in the new app. So let's go ahead and look at what it looked like in the classic app, and then I'll show you what this fan and light looks like in the new app. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the computer and fix this. And you can see that the fan is on low. All I need to tap is number four, and it's gonna change it to be high. And we tap one, it goes back to low. So obviously it is working. Um, it is working through the SmartThings Classic app, but it's not gonna be working in the new app. Also, we have control over the light. We can turn it on, we can turn it off. And also, if we go back to the My Home section, we have a, new, a different device for the family light. If we tap on that, then we have the on and the off, of course. And we also have a dimmer as well, so we can make that brighter. So everything is working in the classic app just fine, but it's the problem is with the new app and that's where everything is moving. So we're gonna have to get everything working with the new app. So let's go over to the new app and let's see if the family fan, so when we tap on that, the family fan does actually work in the new app, but the only thing that you have to control in the new app is to turn it on and off. So I've actually just turned it off and it will be slowing down. And if we go back out and we go to family light, it's gonna say cannot connect to the device. So basically that device is broken and cannot be used. Um, so we can go back in, um, we can turn on the fan, but the fan speeds is blank and the dimmer is blank. So what we need to do is we need to update our device handler to one that's going to be compatible with the new SmartThings app. So let's go to the computer and do that now. All right, so this is the site we need to go to here and um, this is on GitHub. And I'm gonna leave a link to this in the video description so you can easily find it. And this is gonna kind of show you a picture of the fan, a picture of the remotes and the fan controller. This is everything that we have downstairs already set up and installed. It's also gonna show you how it's going to look in the new app. Some tips on Google Assistant and a little demo of how it works. What we need to do is we just need to go up to the top here and there's device types. We need to click on that and we need to get both of these device types into our SmartThings. So let's go over to the SmartThings IDE and all we need to do here is log in. Just log in with your Samsung account. All right now once logged in, what you want to do is you want to go to my device handlers. So these are all the ones that I have currently here. And what you want to do is create a new device handler in the top corner and just choose from code. What we need to do now is go back to the website and grab that code. So we're gonna come back over here. Let's do the fan controller first. Just click on this again. And then what you want to do is go to raw. And all that's gonna do is show the raw code, the full screen. If you hit control A on your keyboard and control C, 
it'll select everything and copy it. And then we just need to come over here and you can right click and paste. Go ahead and click create and publish for me. Now we want to do the same thing all over again. Go to my device handler, create new device handler from code. Go back to GitHub. Just go back. Back one more. And then we want to get the fan light child device. Choose on the groovy file. Click on the raw. Hit control A, control C. Right click, paste it, create, publish for me. All right, so now when we go into our device handlers, we should have those in our list. So here they are, King of Fans, King of Fans, Zigbee Fan Controller, and Child Light Device. Great, so now we have what we need to fix those devices. So now where we need to go is My Devices. All right, and now we're going to fix our family fan. So we just need to go down and choose on family fan. We just need to go down a little bit further and click on edit at the bottom. And then here is where you want to change the type. So right now it's KOF, stands for King of Fan, Zigbee Fan Controller. So we just need to click on the drop down. And now we're going to choose um, king of fans zigbee fan controller we're just going to tap on that and click on update All right now we need to go back to our devices and we need to update the light device so family light that is here we're going to do the same thing edit and let's choose the drop down under the type and we're going to choose king of fans zigbee fan light child device Click on that and click on update and now we have updated it. Great, so now we have both of these devices updated to the latest device handler. And what we can do now is go downstairs and look and see how the fan works with the new app now. All right, so now in the new app, you can see that the family fan is on and now there is a spinning fan in the upper left corner. So now that is on, and if we actually go into it, um, now we can control the fan speeds. So I could change that to medium, and then the fan will get a little bit faster here. Um, I can also dim and brighten the light. So I just change the brightness to 76, go all the way to 100. So that is the brightest that the light gets. And let's go all the way down, which I think is 20. And now it's back to 20. So now you can see that our fan and our light is now working with the new SmartThings app. And now that it's showing um, correctly in here, what we'll be able to do is connect it through Alexa, use our voice control again. Um, also, uh, we can use it in Sharp Tools and it will have all of these options in here as well. All right, so after recording this video, I realized there was one other thing that you needed to do to make sure that your Alexa integration would work and be able to control the fan um, like it was before. So what you need to do is you need to go into the device. So once you get into your device, what you need to do is go to the three dots at the top, tap on that, and what you wanna do is choose settings. Once you choose settings, what you need to do is you need to um, change the dimmer control. For mine, it came in as light. You wanna make sure that the fan is chosen on your fan device and just tap okay and then go back. All right, so when the fan speed is now off, the dimmer is at zero. If you change the fan speed to medium, it's 50% and maximum is 100%. So you just need to use these percentages when you make your Alexa routines to control the fan. Now another thing you might have to do is you might have to delete the family fan light and let the new device handler create the family fan light. So if we go into the family fan light, it should look like this. 
So it should have an on and off at the top and a dimmer at the bottom. And then you know that that is the correct device handler that it's using. So all you gotta do is delete that and it will auto create. So that's very important to make this little change. I did miss that when I was recording the video originally. So I did wanna add this back in. So that is how you fix this fan to work in the new SmartThings app. If you have any more situations like this, you're probably going to have to find a new device handler for whatever device you're having trouble with, um, and that's going to fix it with the new app. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Also check out the other videos on this screen now, and I will see you in the next video.